Ladies and gentlemen, Agenda 111 has been carefully thought through to inspire activity and growth in various sectors of the economy and also help bring jobs to the youth. It is a Ghana first agenda and the following facts will help make the point. Firstly, a consortium compromising, comprising some 20 Ghanaian consulting firms made up of architects, civil, structural, electrical, and mechanical engineers, quantity surveyors, biomedical engineers, and other technical teams have designed these hospitals to reflect our unique domestic requirements, including impact of climate, sociocultural conditions, and traditional practices. They will also supervise the construction of these hospitals, which will be built by some 250 domestic contractors and maintained by domestic facility management professionals as part of government's policy of developing domestic capability in the building and construction sectors of the economy. This will undoubtedly help retain most of the money in the country to engender further investment in the economy. Secondly, the hospitals are of a standard design and construction to provide a blueprint for speedy and cost-effective implementation of future health infrastructure programs in the country. Thirdly, the execution of Agenda 111 will require significant domestic inputs, which will give impetus to private sector investments into the one district, one factory policy. I expect Ghanaian entrepreneurs to take advantage of the opportunities provided by the significant investment and produce quality building and construction materials required by the hospitals. Fourthly, we have incorporated into this agenda a strategy of direct and indirect job openings to stimulate the economies of the various communities in which the facilities are to be located. These include the creation of an estimated 25,000 jobs during the construction and design phase, i.e. jobs for architects, civil, mechanical, electrical, electrical and biomedical engineers, quantity surveyors, masons, carpenters, welders, steel benders, painters, tillers, and related professionals and artisans as well as other indirect jobs. Once completed, it will provide job opportunities for some 20,000 health professionals, and thus enable the Ministry of Health to recruit more doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and other health professionals. In addition to these, there will be many indirect jobs for residents in the local economy. For example, for persons who will sell food, drinks, hospital consumables to the hospital, its staff, patients, and visitors. I am confident that this important investment will have a positive impact on many lives and livelihoods in the respective communities. Ladies and gentlemen, Nananum, beyond the building of these new healthcare facilities, my vision is to help make Ghana the center of excellence for physical medical care in West Africa by 2030. 